so hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today we'll be learning how to play music that we face from device so in the previous video we learned how to face all these music from uh, device storage if you have not watched the video please go and check it out uh, i'll link the i will link the video in the description so let's get started so playing music in uh, flutter is quite easy all you have to do is import a package pop that dev and then search for just audio all right i will link uh, it in the description so just go into pospec.yaml and then paste it here get the dependency all right so now we've got the dependency so first thing first we need to create a object for our just audio query so it's audio player i'm gonna name it audio player is equals to audio player all right so uh you can see that uh, when i click here nothing happens so i'm gonna play a music uh in there so just on tap i'm gonna uh, give it a function for play song and i'm gonna pass a uri uh this uri is paste from uh, this future dot builder which returns us the song model all right so i'm gonna create a function known as play song which which accepts a uri all right so on there i want to set the data source for my song so source audio source dot uri and i'm gonna pass the uri I guess it said audio source. All right, I made a mistake there. Okay, now since it may throw an exception, what I'll do is I'll put it inside try cat and on exception, uh, I'll just provide it an error of error parsing song. See, sometimes uh, we the song might be corrupted, so uh, because of that, the song might not be parsed. So we've got to put it inside a try catch block. All right. So since we have, uh, wait a minute. All right, so done. So since we have uh, added a new dependency, we have to rebuild the project again. So I'll meet you guys when the project finished uh, building. So hey guys, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to play the song itself. So I have to provide this function in order to play the song. So you can add this function. now i don't know if you guys can hear this or not but the music is playing fine all right so now what i want is whenever i click this i don't want this to play here but rather i want it to redirect to a new screen and then uh, play the song there so now we are going to design the new screen for that i'm going to create a directory known as screens all right and under that i want to create a new dot file uh, known as now playing now let's just import material and i want to make this screen stateful because uh, our duration and all those are going to be changing so we have to make this uh, uh, screen stateful all right you can skip this designing part i'll link the time stamp below all right i'm gonna read on a scaffold and i don't want a nav bar here i just want uh, 
plain without uh, plain screen without nav bar so i'm going to uh, put a body of safe area because if you don't put safe area and if there is no nav bar and app bar and there is uh, if there is no app bar and you have not defined a safe area then the text will go over to this status bar so be sure to uh, wrap it with safe area all right now you can put this safe area uh, even before scaffold but what it will do is that the status bar turns black so i don't want that now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give it a container whose width is gonna be double dot infinity and i'm gonna give it a padding of 16 let's say now i want uh it's children to be column and i want its cross axis alignment to be start now for this children i want an icon button so on icon button i want the icon to be back ios oh sorry back ios and when i click this icon i want the page to go back all right so from main dot uh, rather than playing the song here i want it to redirect me to now playing screen so i want it to push and the root will be material page root and the builder will be context which will return us now playing all right let's build it again as you can see when i click here i'm i'm getting redirected to now playing screen and when i click this uh, icon over here i'm get i'm uh, popping out of this screen again all right so now what i want is i want a big uh, circular icon you can show even artwork here but uh, now i'm not gonna focus that much on design so i'm just gonna show it a simple icon uh, under there i want a center which is gonna have child of column again and children uh, i want children to be circle avatar and i want its radius to be let's say 100 and i want its style to be icon of i icon start music note and i want its size to be let's say 80 now let's see how that looks like all right uh, what i want is i want a space between the icon and uh, my center here so i'm gonna give it a height of 30 you can always optimize the screen by adding a uh, const wherever uh, you feel like the uh, state of that widget does not change like for here icon or here size box because it's it, it stays the same throughout the uh, uh, this activity so you can provide const in front of it to optimize it more even here you can add a const like this not here i don't want it here but rather here all right now i want another sized box here and i want a text i want a text that will display my song name I don't want it to overflow so I'll provide it with fade I want the max lines to be one and I'm gonna provide it a style of textile I want font weight to be bold I want the font size to be let's say 30 let's see how that looks all right it's looking fine I want another size box here uh but rather than having its height to 30 i want 10 i want another text here that will show me artist name but i don't want 30 instead i want 20 okay that's looking good i don't want it to be bold it's looking good 
now what I want is I want a, a duration and a slider uh, so guys in this video I'm not gonna uh, show about this duration and slider I'm gonna make that uh, video soon in this video I'm just uh, gonna pass the song model to this screen and it uh, plays here all right after that I want another side uh, I'm really sorry I want another size box here I want a row I want a still rain I want to show duration I want a slider for now I'm just gonna put it to zero and on things also I just I'll just provide it static here for now it will do nothing I want another text that will show me the length of this song uh, so I want the slider to be expanded it's looking good now I want another row that will show me a set of action buttons uh, instead of text I want icon button and the icons are gonna be icon icons dot previous previous I wanted size to be let's say 40 all right I'm gonna duplicate this I want this to be pause I want this to be skip next all right and I want the main axis alignment for this row to be space around and I want the color of my play plus button to be let's say orange uh, orange accent is gonna look more good all right so you can provide const here because const here and none of the const here so this much is done now let's see what uh, our uh, app looks like so whenever we open our app we see the list of songs here uh, now whenever we click any song oh i've not built it i'll see you after it's been built all right so uh, this is our what our app looks like right now so whenever we click anything it uh, will redirect here all right so what uh, now what i want is i want to pass the song to this screen so that uh, it will face all the duration uh, song name artist name here and play the song all right so under now uh, now playing screen i want a final it will receive a song model i'm gonna name it song model all right uh, so we need to provide a constructor for that uh, now under there we want to pass song model which is which is gonna be item dot data of index now under now playing I want now what I'll do is instead of this song name widget dot song model dot display name without extension we have to put widget uh, because it's a stateful widget i forgot about that in order to access this uh, final property we have to add widget all right so under artist name i want this all right so for now let's just do this much only so whenever we click here as you can see 
Jimmy, uh, we can see the artist name and uh, the song name. Now, all right, it's looking good. Uh, I think that I printed the artist name as display name with a text. I'm gonna put it an artist. All right. I'm gonna convert it to do string. Save it. Now you can do this here. It's equals to is equals to. If it's unknown. You can display unknown artists. If that's not the case, we will just print the artist name. Uh, so what I have done here is, as you can see, there is uh, like this unknown unknown. I don't want that. So instead of that, I'm gonna print unknown artist if there is no artist uh, for this song. And if there is an artist, I'm just gonna name the uh, display the artist name. All right, so now that it's been done, uh, what I will do is I'm gonna override a function. Init state under init state. Uh, what I'll do is all right play song I'm gonna create a function known as play song and before that I'm gonna create a new object for audio player audio player now under this play song I'm gonna set the audio source uh, my source is gonna be audio source dot uri and uri I will pass the uri that I got uh, from this constructor here that constructor name is song model dot uri and I'm gonna provide it a null check and I'm gonna oh I'm really sorry uh, and after that I'm gonna just play it all right now be sure to put it inside a try catch block because sometimes uh, the songs can be corrupted so you can show toast here whenever uh, there is a corrupted song that this song cannot be played or you can do whatever you want I'm just gonna log it for now cannot parse song I'm gonna import this log from dot developer I'm gonna save this and let me just do another thing I'm gonna create a, a boolean of is playing is false and whenever we play this song I'm gonna change the variable to true whenever this case true now I want here uh, instead of this const I don't want this const so if is playing is true then I want icons dot pause but if uh, but if if it is not playing then I want icons dot play all right so on pressed i what i want is i want to is playing all right so let's see how this app works i'm gonna build it and i'm gonna meet you after this app gets built
so all right uh, the app is now built so just let me just click here as you can hear the song is playing fine and when i click here uh let me see what happened here oh uh the thing is i forgot to set the state here all right so let me just restart my app again uh it restarted now when i click here it's playing here now when i click here uh the app icon changes the logo changes now what i want is i want the functionality uh to play and pause here so now i'm going to check it before this so if is playing is true then i want to pause the song so uh i want audio player dot pause else i want audio player dot play again all right so let me just start uh, restart my app now when i play this it's playing when i click here the uh, sound gets paused now when i click here again the sound re resumes so that's it for today's video guys hope you guys like it uh, i'm going to uh, show how this uh, slider with will, will work all right and i'm also going to show you how to seek the song or uh, 10 seconds 20 seconds according uh, to your guys uh, need all right uh so yeah thank you for watching the video hope you like the video